The Constitution of the Republic of China was promulgated and came into effect in 1947. The Judicial Yuan, along with the central government of the Republic of China, was moved to Taiwan in December 1949. The Judicial Yuan has a president, a vice president, and other justices totaling 15 people, who are nominated and appointed by the President of the Republic with the consent of the Legislative Yuan. The president and the vice president are both qualified justices. In addition to functioning as justices, they also supervise the subordinate organs of the Judicial Yuan. The Judicial Yuan has established the positions of Secretary General and Deputy Secretary General to administer the affairs of the Yuan under the direction of the President of the Judicial Yuan. In addition, the Judicial Yuan has the following staff units. The subordinate organs of the Judicial Yuan include three courts of final appeal, six high courts and their branches, three high administrative courts, one intellectual property court, 22 district courts, and the Judicial Personnel Study Institute. To stabilize social order and settle disputes among the people, the Judicial Yuan exercises the power of interpretation, the power of adjudication, the power of discipline, and the power of judicial administration. The power of interpretation. The justices interpret the Constitution and unify the interpretation of laws and orders. Based on the conviction that the country exists for the people, the justices interpret the basic rights of the people set forth in the Constitution. The Constitution guarantees personal freedom, equality, the right to work, the right to petition, freedom of residence and change of residence, as well as the freedoms of speech, assembly and association. These interpretations translate the abstract human rights provisions contained in the Constitution into practical daily life experiences of the people, while also taking into account current and modern international human rights philosophy and situations. The Power of Adjudication the justices adjudicate cases concerning the impeachment of the president and the vice president of the Republic of China, and the matters regarding the dissolution of political parties violating the Constitution. Furthermore, each level of the court system adjudicates civil, criminal and administrative cases, intellectual property cases, juvenile and family cases, as well as others. According to the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution, the justices compose the Constitutional Court to adjudicate cases concerning the impeachment of the President and the Vice President of the Republic of China, and the matters regarding the dissolution of political parties violating the Constitution. Civil and criminal litigation in the Republic of China has adopted the three-level and three-instance system. The first instance is tried by district courts. The second instance is tried by high courts and the third instance is tried by the Supreme Court. Civil litigation employs the trial concentration concept. This means the courts help litigants organize their contested issues to improve judicial efficiency. Trials of the second instance adopt a strictly limited continuing trial system, according to which, unless otherwise provided by law, new causes of action or defenses are not allowed. Trials of the third instance review only questions of law. 
The Republic of China's Code of Criminal Procedure has adopted the modified adversarial system and realizes the principle of presumption of innocence. Therefore, prosecutors must prove the guilt of a defendant based on relevant criminal evidence beyond reasonable doubt. The principle of the law of evidence is strictly applied so that the parties can examine witnesses' testimony through cross-examination to confirm the truth. To promote fair and speedy criminal trials, the judicial yen minimizes the detention period of felony cases during the trial. Defendants who are detained over a certain period of time can apply for the reduction of their punishment. Furthermore, they can limit prosecutors' right to appeal under certain conditions. These measures help ensure defendants' right to fair and speedy trials. Before detaining defendants, conducting search and seizure, detaining the accused for expert examination, or engaging in electronic surveillance, approval must be given and writs must be signed by a judge in order to protect human rights. In order for the public to conveniently initiate administrative litigation, and for the administrative organization to respond promptly. The administrative procedure follows a three-level, two-instance system with cases separately adjudicated by the district administrative courts, the high administrative court, and the supreme administrative court. The intellectual property court was established on July 1st, 2008 it exercises jurisdiction over cases related to intellectual property rights, including first and second instance civil cases, second instance criminal cases, and first instance administrative cases. In addition, technical examination officers are available to assist judges with cases related to technical points of contention. The Judicial Yuan established a juvenile and family court in Kaohsiung, while also establishing juvenile and family tribunals under other courts. These professional trial teams help professionalize trials of juvenile and family cases. When children or juveniles commit crimes, or whose behaviors are suspected of violating the law, the conferencing trial in protective procedures provided in the Juvenile Proceedings Act shall apply. The courts employ measures, including private conversation rooms and tribunals with video conferencing systems to protect juveniles. Integrating with social resources, the Judicial Yuan transfers juveniles suspected of violating the law to social welfare and education counseling agencies. This helps prevent the juveniles from becoming criminals. Experts such as psychiatrists, social workers, and psychological counselors are hired to participate in Family Matters mediation. Their efforts help promote the new Family Matters mediation system. The Power of Discipline The cases involving public functionaries who are charged with misconduct or negligence and are impeached by the Control Yuan will be adjudicated by the Public Functionary Disciplinary Sanctions Commission. In the case of a judge, the case will be referred to and adjudicated by the Judicial Service Court of the Judicial Yuan. The Power of Judicial Administration the Judicial Yen supervises its various subordinate organs, deliberates on relevant bills, plans, and improves various systems, enhances the quality of judgment, and improves the trial environment to protect human rights and public litigation rights and interests. To provide convenience and courtesy to the public and to strengthen administrative services, 
Each district court is equipped with a single window service center staffed by the court's professional litigation counselors and justice volunteers who provide fast, easy, and friendly service. A bilingual environment was also established as one of the measures designed to provide convenience. Court seating has been arranged in a ma shape, allowing litigants to sit face to face and maintaining both parties' dignity and equality. The judicial yen conducts case flow management. By changing the method of case assignments, cases can be more fairly and properly tried and backlog can be avoided. Employing judicial affairs officers is another responsibility of the judicial yen. Non-core proceedings, such as non-trial cases or mediation procedure cases, are managed by a judicial affairs officer. This allows judges more time to deliberate litigation cases and enhance judgment quality. At the same time, to implement the provisions of the Domestic Violence Prevention Act, each district court provides a location for its local government to establish a coordinating council for victims of domestic violence, which offers services such as legal consultation, referrals, and courtroom escorts. Courts of the first and second instance currently record proceedings by both computer entry and digital audio recording. The courts also run remote interrogation services and provide online digital transcript viewing, which allows the public to check the accuracy of their transcript by comparing with audio recordings at court. To enforce due process of law, the entire trial process on trial day will be audio recorded and video recorded when necessary. With the permission of the court, the recordings can be translated into document by the party concerned so that it may be presented in court. The general public can obtain litigation assistance online for law-related education, service guidance, lawsuit templates, civil court fee schedule, and even fee calculating programs. On the website, the public can also look up court decisions, foreclosed house auction announcements and photographs, debt relief announcements, hearing dates, and case progress. In addition, one can subscribe to electronic newspapers, submit legal documents, and pay legal fees online. The Legal Aid Foundation was established and funded by the Judicial Yuan to strengthen the rights and interests of the underprivileged. It offers essential legal aid to criminal defendants in mandatory defense cases and to indigent defendants. LAF also provides lawyers to accompany defendants during initial interrogation by prosecutors and police and supports consumer debt cleaning assistance. Currently, there are 21 branches around the nation to help ensure that litigation rights and equal rights, as guaranteed by the Constitution, are not infringed. Each district court has specialized tribunals that deal with finance, labor, intellectual property, medical disputes, elections, and impeachment cases. The judicial yen has also enhanced judges' specialized knowledge through on-the-job training to achieve professional division of labor to conclude cases properly and promptly. It is important for judges to continually improve their knowledge. Therefore, we promote judges' education and research resources by various on-the-job training programs to expand the opportunities for them to advance themselves. To establish a sound personnel system for judges, 
the Judge Act was legislated to establish judge evaluation mechanisms, which helped to maintain a sound trial environment and to protect human rights. The wheel of time keeps turning, and so do our judicial reforms. A fair and transparent judicial system protects the people. The Judicial Yuan will strive to improve judicial discipline, upgrade the quality of rulings, and enhance trial efficiency in order to create a clean, transparent, expedient, courteous, and effective judiciary.